The Internet of Things and home automation in general is a hot topic right now. This is an example that I did a little while ago and demonstrates the sending of the temperature and humidity readings first to an Internet of Things server and then on to a, an app on my phone where I could switch, in this case, just an LED on and off. Obviously, this could be extended to controlling a relay and hence turning on a fan or air conditioning or whatever you wanted to do. Before we get on to such esoteric projects, we need to understand how the relay functions and how it can be controlled by the Arduino at a basic level. Let's move on then and take a look at the Eligu example. Here we can see the parts that we're going to need. Essentially it's the same as the previous example where we were looking at the motor control. It's actually using the motor control IC to control the relay. This is the relay that's included in the kit and we have a, a basic introduction to the component. All the relay does is to be able to control a higher voltage or current than is able to be switched directly by the Arduino. Relays which are specifically designed to switch much higher currents, it mentions here, are called contactors. Another name that you may encounter is a solenoid. This is a typical solenoid which is used to start a, a, a small motorbike. These two heavy duty terminals connect the battery directly to the starter motor. This relay is transparent which is great because we can see the constituent components in great detail. So we have clearly the coil here that activates the relay connections. We have a terminal in the middle which is common and then we have one side which is normally closed and the other side normally open. If I now connect the voltage to the coil, you can see there that the magnetism created by the coil draws the metal bar towards it and that activates the relay with its characteristic clicking sound. If you look closely at relays, they often have all the information you need, but not maybe in the most obvious places. This is the symbol for the coil in this case a 6 volt coil and it's not very clear to see but it gives you the current and voltage ratings for both 250 volts AC and 12 volts DC. It should also be noted if I remove the relay from the board if we compare this against the relay that I've just shown you here are the normally open and closed connections and this connection here is the common these two being the coil also note that you'll need to bend slightly to one side the connection for the common as the pin spacing on this relay is not the same as the board that we're using. Here then is the circuit diagram. No great surprise. We're using, as I said, the motor driver to drive the relay coil. We have 5 volts connected to the common terminal of the relay. The normally open side goes to the motor and from the other side of the motor to ground. So when the relay shifts over, is energised, it will control the motor. That's what it looks like on their schematic and here again in reality. The sketch that they're using is the same as the motor control example. The difference being that as it's only controlling the relay, it doesn't actually change the direction of the motor as it describes in the sketch here. It merely goes through a delay of spinning the motor up and then stopping again. Let's see how that works. I've already powered up the Arduino with the sketch on it. I now power on our 5 volt supply. There we have it, a very simple introduction to the operation of the relay.